Hi, my name is Phil Brinkley. I'm with Intercell, a Renaissance company. And today I want to demonstrate how to make use of the ISL 95338 Evaluation Board. First thing you do after you receive the board is to go to the landing page for the ISL 95338 and download the GUI software that goes along with it as well as the user's guide for the Evaluation Board. The lab equipment you'll need to run the board is a, an adjustable DC power supply, a, a digital multimeter, and an oscilloscope is nice to have but not essential. Okay, once you unpack your board, you want to make sure the jumpers are in the right place. This is J4 needs to be installed, J6 and 7 need to be on the left side of that 3-pin header. The two switches S3 and S4 need to be to the left, being high. And switch 1 and switch 2 need to be to the right, being low. Once you have your software installed, you want to plug in the USB. It should acknowledge with a beep that you've plugged it in and all three LEDs go on. The first demo we're going to walk through is forward mode and buck mode. So we're going to apply power to the ADP side and measure the voltage out on the system side. Connect the multimeter up to your board to measure the output voltage on VSYS. As long as S1 is on the low side, VSYS should read around 0 volts. Once you have your board wired up, go ahead and apply 12 volts to the board. You should check the current on the output. It should be very low, less than a milliamp or so. You'll notice that the two LEDs go out here. That implies that we have power to the board. So you want to click on Reset USB in the upper right hand corner once the board is powered and the USB connected. And verify that you get a green check mark in the USB interface. Once you have a green check mark, you can read the manufacturer ID and you should see 49 hex. That indicates that the board is connected and reading the registers properly. So for forward mode and buck mode, we want to set the output voltage to, say, 5 volts. You'll see that it rounds up to 5.004 volts. I'm going to write that register. You can also click on write all or read all. In this case, let's read all and verify that the D08 register, or that that value, was set in the register. Once you have written the registers to drive approximately 5 volts out on VSYS, you can measure that and switch S1 over to high. You should see around 5 volts. In our case, we have it commanded to be 5.004 volts out, and we're reading very close to that. So we've now demonstrated forward mode using a buck converter, 12 volts in, 5 volts out. Let's now look at reverse mode. To do so, we will reverse our connections and use the GUI to enable reverse mode operation. First, disable our power supply. Turn S1 back to low, and we're going to reverse our connections. So now I'm going to put the power coming in on VSYS, and we will measure the power out on the ADP side. Okay, now that we've reversed our connections, we're going to enable power coming into the VSYS. We have 12 volts coming in and around 0.2 milliamps being drawn. We're measuring the output. Currently it's off. In the GUI, I'm going to set my reverse regulation voltage to 5 volts. And write all the registers. I can read them to make sure that they did take, and they did. And then I can enable switch 2, which will now turn on the output. We can see that the output measured now 5 volts. So we've demonstrated forward mode as well as reverse mode. Now that we've demonstrated both forward and reverse mode, the other thing you can do is add an oscilloscope in. We can look at the phase voltages and watch how they change as our input voltage changes to move it from buck mode to buck boost mode into boost mode. So this is a look at the phase voltages. We currently have 12 volts coming in and 5 volts going out, so we're in buck mode. As I ramp down the power supply from 12 volts down to 7, 
six, five. Now I can see it's it's moved into buck boost mode and pure boost mode. If I go down to four volts, as I go back up four to five to six, we can see that we're now back into buck mode. So that's 12 volts in and 5 volts out. Well, thanks for watching and have a great day.